Hello everyone, Wood Cycles here. We're back again this time with a custom build. This one is an Identity AKA. So aluminium frame, 600 series alloy. Uh, geometry wise, you're looking at 64.5 degree head angle and a 73 degree seat tube angle. So nice and slack at the front, but not too slack. And then, uh, yeah, I really like the uh, slackened out seat post. Puts the bottom bracket in front of you, which is great if you like to be on the back wheel and do manuals. Really short chain stays on this, which you can adjust, but we'll get to that in a little while. So starting at the front, we've got a Mazoki Z2 140mm travel fork, 34mm stanchion, obviously air shock, through axle, quick release. Um, really nice fork. They come in red or satin black, or they do come in white as well now. Um, yeah, so that's cool, tapered. Headset, we've got a Dati finishing kit on this bike. So we've got Dati Ridgeline bars, 35 mil bore, 780 wide, and a Dati Copperhead alloy stem. Again, 35 mil bore and 35 mil reach. Dati top cap. Pro headset, top and bottom. Uh, Dati slim fit grips, lock on obviously. TRP brakes, these are the TRP DHR Evo brakes, four piston calipers, which you can see there. We are running Hutchinson Griffiths 2.4 inch tubeless tires. These are an enduro tire. Uh, granite tubeless valves, you can see them there. Those are good quality. And juice lubes um, sealant inside the wheels. Halo wheels, these are the Halo Gravitas wheel, 33 mil rim width with Halo's 120 point engagement super hub. I'll just give you a little, you can hear that there. So it's super fast engagement. So cables wise, the rear brake hose and the rear gear cable are run externally all the way down the top tube and then they split just there. They do have these nice little clamps which you can see, and there we go, it just focuses, which hold the cables tight, which is a really nice touch. Those come with the frame kit. The frame kit, I must mention, doesn't come with the headset, nor does it come with a seat post clamp, um, just to mention that. And then the dropper post is internally rooted. It goes in to the uh, top of the down tube there, follows all the way down, pops out here, and then goes into the uh, seat tube, which is quite nice. Uh, that works well. We've got an X-Fusion Manic dropper seat post. Good dropper seat post for a good price. Uh, I think they range for about 150 quid. Um, 150 mil travel. This bike, this frame is a size medium, um, which is a, a really good all round size. You know, I think if you go too big, then you won't be able to hit, hit jumps on it. You won't be able to get that saddle all the way down and out of the way. They do have quite a long top tube on these anyway, so. Just bear that in mind. Uh, moving on to bottom bracket and crank. So we have the FSA gradient chain set here with the mega tooth 32 tooth ring. Uh, and then FSA's proprietary bottom bracket. We have Dati black cat pedals, CNC machines. Those are really nice. Moving through, there is a chainstay protector because the frame doesn't come with any protection on it. So you can choose to protect that however you wish from chain slap and, and stone chips. Um, these neoprene ones are good. Uh, they do really do protect the frame. SLX rear derailleur. Uh, and then obviously the Halo Gravitas rear wheel. A Dior 10 to 51 wide range cassette, 12 speed. And then we get onto the rear dropouts. So the rear dropouts of this bike are adjustable, which means you can run single speed, 27.5 or 29 inch wheels on this bike. So you can really customize this bike to what you want to use it for, which is nice. So moving around here, Dati, uh chroma rail saddle there, mountain bike saddle, which is really good, which is actually made by SDG, TRP, four pot calipers. Excuse the discs, 
They have 180 mil Tektro discs because they are a 2.3 mil thick disc as opposed to a 1.8 mil. So having a little bit of trouble getting a 203 for the front at the minute and a 180 for the back in TRP. So yeah, really, really lovely build. The data uh, C-clamp there. Really lovely build. It's gonna ride really well. It's gonna hit the jumps well. It's gonna manual well. I've obviously got the rear chain stays pushed all the way in. This is a 27.5 inch wheel. So that is pushed all the way in. It's a 2.4 tire. So there is quite a bit of clearance for a 2.4. I did try a 2.5 in there, but it was a little bit tight. It did fit, but if you get a serious buckle, you're gonna start rubbing the frame. And uh, that's not what you want. Price-wise, this build uh, around two nine, three grand. Um, could probably do it a little bit cheaper, obviously, depending on componentry and what you want to go for. Uh, Parts-wise, I've got all the dating parts uh, on my web store, woodcycleslimited.co.uk, so you can buy those and we'll ship them out nationwide in the UK. Uh, other parts that are on this bike, you can buy through me. Uh, you'll just have to drop me a, an email and uh, we can move on from there. Hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. Really appreciate your support. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.